Hey, DC Right Hammer here. Many of us in the writing community have day jobs that require us to do business writing. And if you're a fiction writer, there are some bonuses you get to your business writing because you're constantly writing fiction. But there are some drawbacks as well. Let me explain. So number one, we are descriptive as fictional writers and that comes in handy when you're a business writer or writing for business because oftentimes we have to describe something for the customer or for or our bosses or something like that and having a good vocabulary allows us to really describe a problem, an opportunity, a sale, or something like that. And so having the ability to describe um, any kind of describe within the business writing that you're doing is going to be beneficial to the writing overall. The second thing that is beneficial being a fiction writer if you're writing for a business is being dramatic. So as fiction writers, we're often dramatic. We um, play on people's emotions. We get to, you know, we get to draw out the different emotions that we have and we get to be um, very dramatic and that can be helpful in marketing. It can be helpful if you're trying to be persuasive in an email. Um, being dramatic in business writing can be very helpful when you're trying to um, convey how important something is and so on and so forth. And the number three reason why being a fiction writer helps with business writing is we can be very persuasive. This is very helpful if you're writing marketing materials or any kind of content to try to persuade people to do something, buy something, feel something, whatever it might be. We can be very persuasive if you're writing um, characters that you want people to like or not like. We have to persuade our readers to do that in the fiction we're writing. And that really carries over well in business writing. If you're trying to persuade a customer, if you're trying to persuade your boss to do a next project or a, a stakeholder to make something happen or to, um, you know, make a project to de-scope a project, you can be very persuasive as a fiction writer and that translate into the business section. And now here are the drawbacks to being a fiction writer if you're writing for business purposes. Number one, we tend to be verbose when we're writing fiction. We want to use a lot of words. We want to give a lot of description. We want to really immerse the reader. And oftentimes that takes words to do and pages and paragraphs to do. And for business writing, a lot of times that's not necessary. Oftentimes when you're writing for business purposes, you need to be concise. You need to get to the point. You need to say whatever it is you need to say and move on. Um, you need to just convey the information you need to convey. You don't need to talk about emotions or feelings or, you know, something that you saw off in the distance and getting into all this detail. So being verbose can really hurt your business writing if you're not careful. Number two drawback to being a fiction writer if you're writing for business is that we can be indirect. Oftentimes in fiction, we want to draw out suspense. We want to leave breadcrumbs for the reader to figure out later and that often leads us to being indirect or having a an unreliable perspective or something like that and in business oftentimes and this is related to not being verbose um, but we want to be direct and to the point we want to address the situation at hand and not talk about four or five different things at the same time we want to talk about the person we mean to talk about we want to discuss the ideas, the projects that are important right now, not all the extra stuff that's going on. The third drawback to being a fiction writer if you're writing for business is that we tend to write slow or in the grand scheme of things, slow compared to the pace of business writing. Oftentimes if we have to fire off an email, uh, submit some content for review, if we've got to create a, a user story, if you work in software development or something like that, we need to be able to write very quickly. We can't worry about drafting, you know, um, you know, and taking two or three days to draft something. Oftentimes we got to write fast. We got to get it out um, and we got to move on. And as fiction writers, we often like to take our time and spend time with our characters and be in our setting and really enjoy the experience of writing. And business writing doesn't lend itself to that. 
So there you go, three reasons why being a fiction writer is helpful to business writing and three reasons why it can be detrimental. I know this is not an exhaustive list. Did anything come to mind while you were watching this? Put it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your take on it. And I appreciate your watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you all next time.